let's solve for all values of m given that m to the fourth minus 5m squared is equal to 36. I'm going to be using two methods to solve this question. So I'll start with method one. So for method one, our first step will be for me to move 36 to the left hand side so that we have m to the fourth minus 5m squared and as 36 crosses to the left, it becomes minus 36. And this is equal to zero. Well, m to the fourth is same as m squared all raised to the two. Minus 5m squared minus 36 equal to zero. Now we have a quadratic equation. Well, in this quadratic equation, we're going to be taking the m squared as a single variable. And the good thing is this quadratic equation can be factorized. So what is the factor of negative 36? The factor of negative 36 is negative 9 times 4. So why did I choose negative 39 times 4? It is because the addition of negative 9 plus 4 gives the coefficients of m squared which is negative 5. That is it. So I'm going to be opening two brackets which are multiplying each other equal to 0. Now I have m squared all raised to the 2 which means m squared times m squared. So the factors I have negative 9 so we'll write it there negative 9 and I have plus 4 plus 4. So this is it. So we have two cases. We have m squared minus 9 to be equal to 0. Or we have m squared plus 4 to be equal to 0. So for the first case, let me just call this case 1. Where we have m squared minus 9 equal to 0. I'm going to be moving negative 9 to the right hand side. So that we have m squared to be equal to as negative 9 crosses, it becomes positive 9. Now to get rid of this square, I'll take the square root of both sides. So this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 9. Now we see that this square root and this square cancel out, leaving behind m to be equal to plus or minus. The square root of 9 is 3. So that's for our first case. Now let's go to our second case, so case 2. For our case 2, we have m squared plus 4 to be equal to 0. Now I'm going to be moving 4 to the right hand side so that we have m squared to be equal to, as 4 crosses to the right, it becomes negative 4. Now let's get rid of this square by taking the square root of both sides. So I'll take the square root of m squared equal to plus or minus, I'll take the square root of negative 4. Now notice that the square root cancels out the square, leaving behind m to be equal to plus or minus. Since I have a negative here, it means the solution here will be a complex number. So this will be the square root of 4 is 2, but because of this negative, I have iota, which is i. So we have four solutions for M, two are real solutions, and two are complex solutions. Now let's move on to our second method. Now let's call our second method, method two. Now for our method two, I'm going to be using the completing the square method because I want to turn the left-hand side to a perfect square. And in order to do that, the coefficient of m to the fourth must be a perfect square. So I'll use 4 to multiply the left hand side and the right hand side in order to achieve that. So I'll use 4 to multiply the left hand side. 5m squared equal to, I'll also use 4 to multiply the right hand side. Now let's open up the brackets. 4 times m to the fourth is 4m to the fourth minus 4 times 5m squared is 20m squared and this is equal to 
4 times 36 is 144. Now, remember that we are applying the completing the square method. So I'm going to be taking this coefficient of m squared, which is negative 20. And I'll divide that by the degree, which is 4. I'll square the results. Well, I'm going to be adding this to both sides of the equation. But before I do that, I have to simplify. So negative 20 divided by 4 is negative 5. And this is raised to the 2. So I'm adding this to both sides of the equation. Now, 4m to the 4th can be simplified into 2m squared or raised to the 2 minus, this is 20m squared. Now, let's add this to both sides of the equation. So I'll add negative 5 squared to the left equal to, now on the right, I have 144. I'll also add negative 5 squared. Now notice that the left hand side is now a perfect squared, which can be written as, so I'll take the terms with the square. So this is 2m squared and this is minus 5. And all these will be raised to the power of 2. This is a perfect squared equal to, now on the right hand side I have 144 now, negative 5 squared is plus 25. So, this simplified into 2m squared minus 5 or raised to the 2 to be equal to 144 plus 25 is 169. And in order to get rid of this square, I just have to take the square root of both sides. So, I'll take the square root of the left, which is 2m squared minus 5 or raised to the 2. I'll also take the square root of the right, but by putting plus or minus, the square root of 169. Now notice that this square root cancels out the square, leaving behind 2m squared minus 5 to be equal to plus or minus. The square root of 169 is 13. So now let's move negative 5 to the right hand side so that we have 2m squared to be equal to as negative 5 crosses to the right it becomes positive 5 plus or minus 13. Now we have two cases here so we have 2m squared to be equal to 5 now go with the plus plus 13 or we have 2m squared to be equal to 5. Now this time we'll go with a minus, minus 13. Let's solve these two cases one after the other. So this becomes 2m squared to be equal to 5 plus 13 is 18. Now we divide both sides by 2. You notice that this 2 cancels out this 2, leaving behind m squared to be equal to 18 divided by 2 is 9. Now let's get rid of this square by taking the square root of both sides. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 9. Now see that the square root cancels out the square, leaving behind m to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 9 is 3. Now for this other case, we have 2m squared to be equal to 5 minus 13 is negative 8. Now let's divide both sides by 2. Now dividing both sides by 2, these two cancels out these two, leaving behind m squared to be equal to negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Now let's get rid of this square by taking the square root of both sides. So we have plus or minus the square root of negative 4. So this cancels out this, leaving behind m to be equal to plus or minus. The square root of negative 4 is 2i, which is a complex number. So we have the same solution as we did the last time. So let's check. Remember our answers. We've got the values of m to be equal to, we've got plus 3, we've got negative 3, we've also got plus 2i and negative 2i.
Now let's start with 3. So this is 3 to the fourth minus 5 times 3 squared. Remember, m is 3. We're seeing if we're going to be having 36 as a result. Now watch that 3 to the fourth is 81 minus 3 squared is 9 and 9 times 5 is 45. So would this be 36? 81 minus 45 is actually 36. So this is equal to the right hand side. So our value for m equal to 3 is correct. And if we have to put negative 3 here, you see that the powers are even powers. So we're going to be having the same result. So there is no need for us checking that. Now let's check for this complex solution. This is m to the fourth. I'm using 2i. So m to the fourth is 2i raised to the fourth minus, this is 5 times 2i raised to the 2. So we are checking to see if we have 36. Now 2i to the fourth is 2 to the fourth is 16 i to the fourth minus this is 5 times 2 squared is 4 i squared now there is something we need to know that i to the fourth is equal to 1 and i squared is equal to negative 1 so that means this is 16 times 1 minus this is 5 times 4 times negative 1. So 16 times 1 is 16. Minus times minus is plus. 5 times 4 times 1 is 20. So 16 plus 20 is actually 36. So we've got the left hand side to be equal to the right hand side. So our answers are very much correct. Well, if you have any other idea or solution that is shorter and more elegant than these two, please indicate that on the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.